Welcome to the Mantis Garden. Today I've got something different for you, which will make a change from isopods. Yeah, it's completely different, something I don't um, often do. I have Mantis, and it's from Michael, but Mantis and I. So, I know it's gonna be good, and there should be 10 Mantis in here. And I can't remember what they are. Well, I can remember what one of them is, but not the other one. So I'm going to have to quick look. I might even have to go and Google. Or any site or something. Because I can't remember. But I'm going to need these, because these look bloody tiny. They are bloody tiny. Wow, these are flower mantis. And they are really, really, really tiny. Um, they are, <sighs> no, nope, can't remember, I'm going to put the name here because I can't remember what I ordered, uh, they're one of the flower mantis, they're not spiny flower, they're not orchids, but they're one of the flowers, so I'm going to put the name here somewhere, and there is five of these guys, and they're all running round, so they're all fine. And I also got five of these which I absolutely love. If you follow my videos, you'll know I love them because um, I did loads of videos of them. This is a Romadera Latiprinotum, which is the Shield Mantis, or one of them. There's lots of them. And they're all okay. Unky dory. I can see them all. Brilliant. Ordered these yesterday afternoon. Got them today. They're all healthy and well, brilliant. Thank you, Michael from Mantis NLA. Uh, he's got some great stuff on his website at the moment. I've seen some really awesome, uh, I think it was uh, tricolour flower mantis, which are well worth a good look at. Um, I think they're pretty, but they're not the sort of thing I want to stock at the moment. I, I probably noticed I've got a couple of species behind me. I have 17, 18, 19 species now. So, I was tempted, but not that tempted. I might make it 20 at some point, but it'll be another month, because I do this once a month. So, little breeding blocks of various species. If you can think of any species you think I should stock, stick it down in the comments below, because uh, I'd like to see what people really, really want. Now, let's have a look a bit closer at these guys. And this is a... Lovely for our mantis that I've forgotten the name of. A bit lazy, really. I could just go in the other room and have a quick look on my website, but you know, why would I do that when I can just write the name in after? Look at that. How cute is that? She's so tiny. Let's see, phone might bounce here. Yeah. What's this brush? Look on the brush. No, you don't, do you? <laughs> oh well. I'm going to call this a Cardassian shot because all you can see is her ass. There you go. Let's see Kim do that, eh? You just put her back foot in her mouth. Look at that. I knew she's pretty good at putting her foot in her mouth. Off she goes again. Okay, this is the Rompadera Latipronotum. It just means wide shield. At the shoulders, that's what the Latin actually translates to. And uh, I love these guys. Do you want to get in the center of the shot? They usually, there we go. Very, uh, look, at that age, it's attacking the brush. There you can have it. When they get bigger, they get a bit violent see what I can get there there you go better focus very pretty mantis they're big they're green they're mean let's <laughs> just see come on turn around no 
but hopefully these guys will grow up to be nice and big and strong. I can make them and uh, have them available. I'll have a website soon. Check these out. How cute was those, eh? Them uh, flower mantis, whatever they are, can't remember. Uh, <laughs> there again. Are just so cute, it's unbelievable. They're so tiny at the moment, but we're going to grow them out. Uh, hopefully, I'll have them ready later in the year. Hopefully, for Sheffield in February. So, if you haven't got a ticket, for Fe uh, not a ticket, but if you not know about the Great Ant Exhibition in February, it's in Sheffield on February the 11th. Uh, and I have tables there. So, if you want to come and say hi, come and say hi. His last pronotum is also obviously awesome because I absolutely adore them things. And I can't wait to uh, grow them on. My last one unfortunately died gravid before she laid an ooth. Otherwise I'd have had my own little pitter-patter of feet of last pronotums. But I'm going to get them this time. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is the Mantis Garden, signing off.